just finished off playing this bullet game and I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I hope you do as well. So that's why I'm about to st take you through this game and let's see how good it was. It starts off with d4 as I played. Opponent responds with d5. I went with bishop to g5, uh, which is generally played in the bullet by me so that if opponent just plays the move e6, I can simply take out the queen on the second move and win the game from there on. But opponent plays knight to f6, I get my bishop back on h4. And generally when I do so, I just get my bishop backwards again on g3. That's pre-moves that, that is happening. Here opponent plays knight to c6. I played e3 first here. Uh, which was a blunder because after bishop g4, I blundered as I was pre-moving, my queen is lost. And in this situation, many of us resign, but not me. I, I never resign games uh, and I will show you today why so. Now my queen is lost in five moves and you must be thinking that, is he crazy? Why is he showing me this game? But no, I'm not and this game was good. Uh, let me take you further with this and if you enjoy it, please do subscribe to the channel as well. Now I take the bishop uh, with the king, uh, so my casting rights are also gone. An opponent goes for e5 straight away, breaking open the center. Nice strategy, you are up, why not do that? I try to pin the knight, uh, opponent plays pawn for e4 now. Closing of the center, which is not right actually. I take on the knight here, uh, trying to double up these pawns. Because if at all this goes to an end game, I need to have some advantage and double pawns is a disadvantage for my open uh, and that can help me later on. I play c3, uh, open plays bishop to d6. I develop the knight on e2, opponent takes and now I can take with the knight uh, and improve the position of my knight as well. But from here my knight is kind of passive only, it's not going anywhere. Uh, so I took with the pawn opening up the edge file instead. Open puts queen to d7. Uh, I move my king to f4. Uh, open castles queen side because the h file was opened up. So open has castle on the side which is again open. So it's weak. So I thought okay let me maneuver my knight first so that at least both my rooks are uh, able to connect after I put the king up. A uh, knight comes now on to g4 attacking a pawn which also leads to a fork. So I put my king up defend the fork. Uh, here opponent plays g5, attacking my knight, which now is passive on h5, but the idea is to later on put it uh, on one of these squares. Uh, opponent plays f5, uh, and now I know that opponent will go for a pawn break. I thought, let me kick this knight backwards. And then I realized, oh, oh, this knight is trapped. It's not going to any good squares. If yes, one good square is this h6, but unlikely to be seen in the speed of bullet. Uh, also. It's passive. Uh, I can simply play pawn forward, get my knight back and attack uh, it as well. Or maybe I can just simply put my knight onto f6 which will attack the queen and then take the knight with the rook defending my knight as well. So either way it's, it's a loss. Opponent takes the pawn first, I take back. Uh, and now opponent sees that and just takes the pawn because opponent is up. I take the uh, knight and now opponent is plus 4 uh, as of now. I move the king. So I got at least a knight for some compensation. Now g4 is played again an important point. I, do I want to play pawn forward? That blocks these pawns and that can lead to my own checkmate. So I thought okay I'll take, I take here, open takes back. And now knight to f4, uh, defending with the pawn as well, improving the position of knight. Uh, and it's about to come into a good square later on. Now queen comes to f5, uh, rook to e1, trying to exchange one of the rooks. Because knight can be effective, but I, first of all, I need to trade something. We trade off here, open gets queen to c2. I defend the knight, open takes a pawn. Uh, I play pawn forward c4, have not got much choices. After I take, here comes a check and I lose a knight as well. Now it's queen and a rook against knight and a rook and uh, extra pawns for the opponent. So it's completely losing. Open, I play a4, giving away a pawn, hoping for a uh, uh, for a thing that open takes everything, all the material leads to a stalemate somehow. Open gives a check, I, which is a blunder now. I get to take the queen. Open takes back with the pawn again. Nice because open wants to keep these pawns connected and push them. So still, uh, despite I get the queen for the knight later on, it's completely winning for black plus three here. Three extra pawns is is like pretty good at the end game. I thought, okay, let me pressurize placing this pawn onto a6 
so that uh, this square is weakened up. Uh, king cannot escape here. And I can do something with my rook. Uh, open plays c6. I play a6. King comes comes up onto c7. Uh, I give a check. I was expecting a rook comes up. I trade off, and then I have to just run towards these pawns. But I cannot stop them. These are too much to be handled. But open plays king to b6, which was kind of interesting. I'll take a pawn. Uh, open pushes the pawn now to d4. I get back in time because I want to block this first. Open pushes the pawn to d3. Here comes rook to d1. Now c5. I move towards the pawn so that I can take eventually, but it's defended. And then I thought opponent will take and then put the king aside and start pushing this. Completely easy winning endgame. Uh, opponent was up on time as well. But opponent blunders. Place c3 allows me to take the rook. Opponent takes back. I take. And now opponent takes the pawn. I take. Now still it's losing for white. I can try and go and take this pawn, but it would be too late and opponent will be uh, promoting first. I thought of going there first, but then I realized, okay, it's too late. Uh, and then I drudged back in. <laughs> so opponent kept pushing. I came back and now king to b3. Uh, I moved king to a1 and now the simplest way is to walk away uh, and take my pawn and then proceed with this one. Uh, give away this pawn. But what open does here is places a2, which is a stalemate, or you can call it as a Rosen trap as well. Eric Rosen has been continuously promoting it as a Rosen tra trap. It's just a stalemate. So yeah, it, it happened. Uh, and I, I managed to bounce back in the game. And had I resigned in the fifth move, I wouldn't have made it to 46 at all. And it's a draw. I don't lose a rating further from here on. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.